Uh, tire pressure certainly a concern as we enter into the fall and winter months, uh, you know, with the colder outside air, the uh, amount of air in your tire uh, pressure that uh, decreases as well. So just keep that in mind. I'm sure you've seen uh, a light like that in your car, and if you haven't, you probably will. Um, as we continue to see temperatures drop this morning, it's 10 degrees cooler this morning in Greenwood than it was even yesterday morning. We are finding numbers there right at 40. 41 in Lawrence, 41 in Gaffney as well, 43 out in Anderson, and temperatures hovering in the 30s, just above freezing in the mountains. We do have a frost advisory, so temperatures are low enough to create some widespread frost concerns there for the next several hours. Later today, though, more gorgeous sunshine is on the way. Temperatures in the mid 60s across the mountains at 65, 65 in Hendersonville, upper 60s for most of the upside. If you head south of 85, we should see right around 70 degrees. Your Carolina Sky Meter rating, it is going to be another beauty, another perfect 10. Today, the last perfect 10 for probably the next week or so. We went so long without it, so we're probably going to enter into another stretch of some sub 10 days. High pressure in control of us now, but we look back to the west. Our next weather maker producing rain in Oklahoma and parts of Texas. And in the cold sector, we've got winter storm warnings up for areas south of Denver. Even some snow possible for the Amarillo area of the Texas Panhandle. We have to deal with rain though. Starting tomorrow, it's just a 20% chance of rain though. So most areas likely to escape the shower activity for Friday. But getting into your weekend, a little bit better chances for showers move in, especially on Saturday night into Sunday. I'll show you on Futurecast in just a second. Right now it looks like Sunday will be the peak of our rain chance. We keep them going Monday of next week though. A, a few showers are still possible to start the final couple days of October. Here's Saturday morning. A few early morning showers are possible and again, occasional scattered showers through the day. No doubt throughout the day you can see the heavier rain is setting up well to the west, but that inches closer to us Saturday night and into Sunday morning. This is eight o'clock Sunday morning. It looks like we will have to deal with a, a decent chance of some heavier downpours. They should generally thin out throughout the day for Sunday and into Sunday night but we don't necessarily clear out altogether. I do expect some lingering showers into next week. So today is the last fully sunny day that we'll probably have for the next week. Temperatures will kind of go down a little bit, but then they come back up Sunday, Monday, Tuesday of next week will be 70 or more. And we're also looking at about a 40% chance of rain starting on Tuesday as well. And that could last into Wednesday and maybe even on Thursday, which is Halloween. Now time for your riding forecast. Sponsored by Harley Davidson of Greenville. Again, going to have to pick and choose carefully when you ride the bike. It's not going to be a complete washout, but rain chances both days. 67 Saturday, warmer on Sunday at 73. In the mountains, 60 on Saturday, almost 70 on Sunday, where we have a 60% chance of showers.